hey guys i'm back with another video so this is going to be my valentine's day look i'm going to, to do a pink cat eye cut crease situation um i'm so excited because i did three valentine's day look last year and i'm doing one this year but i think this one is going to be really easy and really cute to do so i already pinned my hair back for the people that had like a huge issue with me um, not pinning my hair back last time or whatever. Um, I guess it bothers some people. So I'll make sure it's pinned back today. Um, yeah, so let's get into the look. So the first thing that we're going to do is prep our skin. Um, I'm still using the Power Grip Elf Primer. I really still want to get the pink one. And I just was at Sephora. I really should have picked it up. Actually, I don't think Sephora is curious. Um, I think only Alta carries it. But I ain't gonna look for it. I could get it from Walmart or anywhere, really. But I do. So I already did my brows. Um, because that's not the focus today. Just make sure you do your brows. Make them look very, you know, the way you like them. I like my brows thick and you know natural looking um the next step we're going to do our regular face routine i'm going to include it in this video this time just because i want y'all to get the whole feel of the look although today focus is the eyes but So this is the Juvia's Place number 10 concealer. And then I'm going to take number 8 and put it just around my mouth. Just to make sure it's the perfect blend around my mouth. And then I'm going to take... I really want to use my Revolution Foundation Stick at F18, but it is sold out. And I don't want to use things that you all can't get. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue continue using my Juvia's Place Amber Bronzer. Let's take this and... Let's bronze up. My thing. I don't put too much, but that's the only thing about this bronzer. It's so creamy that you could just blend this out. Like, it's not even serious. It looks like a lot, but once you blend it out, it's really not that bad. But honestly, I really did just get real heavy handed. And that's why I like to do my concealer and blend it out after I do my bronzer. But yeah. So, let me show y'all how to fix this on camera in real time. Because that's a lot. It really is. I put a lot. It's okay. And I don't know if y'all can hear my baby in the background. Um, She is in the other room watching TV and playing with her brother. They watching a the movie. They are fine. Um, My last video... I hate addressing stuff sometimes. I really do because, like, the people that really watch my videos and know me, know me. Like, if y'all hear my baby in the background or whatever, like, my child is fine. I am a wonderful mother and I'm very attentive to my children. Uh, I've done said this a few times, but my last video in one of my segments, my baby was crying because she was, she followed me. You know, she followed me in here and she was sleeping. And she act like she can't sleep without me. We in the process of trying to break that. And um, I have a few people that was basically 
um kind of making a couple people made a couple smart comments like oh get your baby like you don't care and of course i deleted it because i'm not about to entertain that but i just want to say for future references if y'all hear my child or our children in the background i am a single mother but my kids are good 100 percent good i promise you like i promise you yeah for the people in the back that didn't know my kids are 100 and I, my baby is two going on three she's not no little bitty baby either because i think a few people thought that like why wouldn't my baby be okay of course she's okay she's right next to me half of the time but that's neither here or there because i got so many people that actually love me and mess with me um on my videos that i'm i don't even want to keep addressing all of the negativity that i got on my last video because just as much negativity there was a whole lot of positivity um so yeah i still love you guys so i did go in with a lighter concealer that's that medium warm and elf 16 hour cameo love it so much so i'm gonna let that dry just a little bit and then we go blend that out so once that dry down, that don't need a lot of time to dry down because it is a matte concealer and it dries pretty fast. And then I just put the number 10 right beside it just for easy blending. What are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? I'm excited this year because um, I made my kids a basket and they don't know nothing about it and it's so cute. So when they come home, they go have a card, a bear, box of chocolate and then I made like a, a nice little basket for them. And I think we're going to do like, um, I don't know if I want to do a piece of party. Like, I feel like we do pizza parties often, so I kind of want to do something else. I got to figure it out quickly, though, because I'm trying to do this before they get out of school tomorrow. So I got to figure that out. But y'all kind of see how I fixed it with the um, concealer. Like, it's so easy to blend, so it don't even matter. Like, it just look pretty effortless. Um, I'm going to go and add just a tiny bit more of that like a seller just to brighten it up just a tiny bit because it's Valentine's Day and I want to look snatched um, I'm gonna use this for my nose just a little bit it's like the perfect color this is the what is this black radiance foundation is this the foundation stick yeah foundation stick and in color cocoa bean such a pretty color and i'm just going to blend that out because it's like a cream so we just go blend it out up in our brow just a little bit that's why i like the color because it's not harsh like it just look very set and natural. I'm just blending this out. And take a blending brush and pull in here. And our face looks nice and smooth. So lately, I kind of stopped doing this step in using like a um, translucent powder to lay down first. And I've been kind of going straight in with my um, Huda Beauty um, Blondie powder because I don't know, it's just like, it just looks so nice and natural. And I always add that light color on top anyway. So I'm going to just do what I've been doing. Then we we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. 
That is such a pretty color. When I was in Sephora, I was so close to getting the other color that's a shade lighter. I forgot the, the name of it. I was about to get it. But I was like, $38. Oh no, like it ain't even worth it. Well, I ain't gonna say it ain't worth it because no, it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. I was kind of being a little cheap. Cause I'm like, I really got other translucent powders and I love blonding. So I didn't get it, not yet. But I might in the future, I don't know. Then I'm going to take Juvia's Plays Bronze Dark Palette. I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks. So set that cream bronzer for, from earlier. Y'all know I love Juvia's Plays. Like, love it. Looks so pretty. And I'm going to go back and do the same with my nose. Well, more so up in this area. Because like I said, we don't want eyeshadow. So, all of this got to be snatched up. It got to look a certain way. And then I'm going to take the Ace Beauty and carve out my cheekbones here set them and make them look real nice remember that's that pretty nutmeg mad color if y'all haven't watched my last video of my tips and tricks and game changing makeup tips y'all gotta go watch it because i really dropped some gems like seriously if you want to learn how to do your makeup i dropped some true gems i think i did and I think the people that watched it said the same thing. So you should go watch it if you haven't. Hurry up and brush that away. But we don't need it to stay out too long. And I think that looks good. The face looks snatched, right? So next we go get into the eyes. And I'm excited because, like I said, this is a cut crease. A pink cut crease but I'm doing a um, cat eyes so it's gonna be like kind of dramatic but simple because y'all know I'm simple I like simple so I'm just gonna take the Juvia's Play 16 this is my one of my lighter concealers and I'm gonna put this all over the lid um let's see because I low-key want to take it higher I have such I have hooded eyes so I might have to drag this up just a little bit it's gonna look crazy for a second but bear with me just putting this down as a base like my um my eyelids are pigmented so I'm just kind of trying to diffuse some of that color on my natural eyelid and um, yeah, that's the plan. That's what I'm trying to do. Cause everything will show up better. And I'm going to take, actually I'm going to take like the, my face powder color, which is like a, you know, your, your natural color. So this may be different for everyone, but this is True Match N8. And I'm going to kind of carve that shape out that I want which is like a cat so we just we go kind of drag this out and you probably can't see it at first but after we we go darken it up so you will be able to see it afterwards but it's that kind of shape so if y'all can see this right there this is the shape we're doing. But we need a transition color so it don't look like we don't know what we're doing. Okay. And y'all know I like one brush. I do not be trying to use a bunch of brushes. 
because it's not necessary. Um, I'm going to take the Warriors 2 palette by Juvia's. And I'm going to go in this first color. It's just a little deeper. And I'm going to go literally right below. And deepen that shape. And right after this, we're going to go ahead and add our pink down. And once we lay the pink down, we can go back and deepen that shape even the more. That's the easiest way I know how to do it. Because um, any other way, it just, it's just too much thinking. And I know that's going to be hard for me to even explain to y'all. And I don't like doing a bunch of... Again, unnecessary work if I don't have to. Like, I don't want to do that. So, I am going to use this blush. That fit me. It's in color 40. Do I have a name? Yes, it's called Peach. And I was going to, if y'all remember, I was going to take this back. Because I didn't like the color, the shimmer um, blush on me. I didn't like the, the sheen it had. So, I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. And it is very light pink. And I'm just going to pat this all over my lid. And I'll probably end up using another color. I don't know. Because this is super light. But I don't want no super dark color either. Because like. I feel like this is practical. And especially we add in bottom lashes of cat eyeliner like we don't need to do too much like this is pretty and dainty and sexy without doing too much don't y'all think look that's so pretty look at that sheen from the juvia's place it's so pretty Yeah, but I just think that's so pretty and ladylike. And it will go back. But since we got that laid down, I want to go ahead and start um, messing with that shape with a darker color. So since we did that, I'm going to go back in this color, even though we just laid it. But now I can see the two, the, the transition. Like I can see that it's pink and I can see it's brown. Now I just kind of want to isolate. You probably can't even see. But I'm going to kind of isolate the shape. Because I don't want to go into that dark color. And then feel like I don't messed up. So, just kind of reiterating what I did. Making a fake eyeliner. I mean a fake um bigger lid because my lid is hooded. And then I'm going to go into the next color which is a darker brown. And we're going to really start carving it out don't get scared now y'all just take out time we got this yeah i'll go start seeing the shape come about y'all starting to see it And then um, do the same on the other side. Y'all know every time I do eyeshadow, it look crazy before it look good. So hopefully y'all ain't lost hope. Oh, watch how I end up doing this side better. That's pretty. Okay. I think the flick of my wrist is a little better on this side, honestly. Okay. And I'm going to take a blending brush and just kind of diffuse that a little bit. 
because we don't want no harsh lines. We want everything to look nice and effortless. And I'm going to go back with that pink and I'm going to just kind of drag the pink out a little bit to just to make it look seamless and like it's a cohesive look. And we're going to do the same thing when we add our um, eyeliner. So that's pretty. Um. Y'all can't really see, but it looks like it's light right here. And it kind of is, but really, it'll come together. Just, we just going to keep going. Um, I kind of want to add a darker pink. So, I haven't even cracked this open for y'all, but I got this a few months ago. This is the Culture 2 Juvia's Place Powder. I mean, palette. And... I'm going to use, um, y'all know I do not say these names, but this peachy color right here. This is like similar to the color we use, but it is a little more pigmented and darker. So, I'm going to just lay that at the end. Um, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to I didn't think it was gonna be that pigmented. We literally doing this together. Like, for real. I did not practice this, this look before I came on camera. But y'all see it add a little more depth. And then I'm gonna go back in again with the even darker um, brown. This is this look black but it's brown dark dark brown and i'm gonna kind of mix it with that other one we use and go and deepen it just even more i don't know if y'all can see that I like this side better, but whatever. Um, then we're going to use our liner. I I was kind of um I didn't know if I wanted to use a um what you call this kind of liner, a pencil liner or a liquid liner, or if I want to use the um what do you call that? This is like a liquid pencil liner. This is a cream liner. I didn't know which one I wanted to use, so I'm going to use both. That's what I'm going to do. And we are literally the same shape. Don't be scared. If this fails, we can fix it with lashes. Okay? Okay. Pretty. And then we go to the other side. Y'all know I'm going to make two lines and fill it in, girl. So make your first line. Nice short strokes in the end. Meet them and then fill it in. Like that. I don't think I'm gonna need that other liner. I'm so so scared to go in like I want to over here. So 
so that's that they look pretty even to me so y'all could see and then as far as our bottom i'm going to lightly smoke it out with a brown nothing too crazy but before i do that let me go ahead and add my lighter powder because i've noticed like adding the lighter powder and then going in it's just going to look a little more seamless so whatever brightening powder y'all want to use i use the infallible 24 hour fresh wear by l'oreal and vanilla 120. And this is not like you don't have to do this step you don't have to but i like this step i like brightening powders not for all looks but for some looks like it kind of elevates it it's gonna bring stuff together to me and then that's it up blend it in and then we're going to smoke the bottom out with a brown. Yeah, I probably can't even see it. nice dimension nice pink smoky pretty uh, i like that it's pretty um and then yeah i had a i forgot i had this palette i really could have used this palette instead of using the eyeshadow i could have used any of these but um that's okay like we're gonna use these for blush um i'm gonna put my lashes on come back and then I'm going to do my bottom lashes and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I added my lashes. These are my lashes on my website. The Black Luxury, Black Girl Luxury Lash. Um, Y'all been buying them up. Like, y'all really been buying these up. And all I did to make them a little full, I just add like um, a little cluster lash, three cluster lashes on top of it to make it a little fuller for the dramatics, you know, for the look. Um, I'm just gonna outline my lips because it's bothering me. Like I kind of look crazy. I'm gonna do that real quick and then we go get to the bottom lashes. So that's a little better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use our what you call this primer for our bottom lashes like we always do but we're gonna do something a little different and this happens with trial and error i'm not gonna do like real big clusters like i usually do because i'm adding um falsies to the bottom so just go do the white and the look is coming with the white um, under eye y'all because y'all was talking about how I was eating in the last video and I agree I love that look I got the perfect idea for it too so it's coming I'm gonna let that dry a little bit um and as that dry I'm going to add my mascara let that dry a little bit and then we're going to add the I don't want to call this a cluster lash because it's literally like two lashes connected, that makes sense. So they're not real full or dramatic, but it's going to add what we need. We just need a little bit more dramatics. It is Valentine's Day, and, you know, we could step it up. This ain't an everyday look to me, but this is like still natural. Can I say that? I think it's natural. Still like a natural, not too much look. And then we just go add a little drama at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and do a little wiggle wiggle for our bottom eyelashes
And make sure we do the top as well. I think I have to do that. I ain't gonna keep talking about my haters in the comments, but y'all was really trying to eat me up. Like, oh my gosh, you wear dirty lashes. Like, first off, I do and do. Not dirty, but you know, I, I re really wear my lashes. Like, why not? It ain't nothing wrong with them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, of course I do, but these are brand new, but that was just, it just made me think real quick, like how y'all was. Some of y'all was trying to do me in the comments. I'm like, ooh, am I becoming a real YouTuber or not? Because y'all get to tripping. And I'm like, I'm just trying to show the girls a little bit of what I know. That's it. If you don't like, you know, keep it moving. So I'm just going to pick up one of the longer cluster lashes or whatever you want to. Say individual lash. These are little. These are so cute. I just put a little glue on them. I link these at the bottom. I got this from Amazon. And we are literally just going to stick it underneath. I'm only adding three. Can y'all see that? It's so cute. And then I'm going to add another long one in the middle. Like, it's just the perfect. The perfect extra-ness. Just add in three. Did a good job. That is that. Can y'all see the difference? Cute, cute, cute. Not too much. I like natural, y'all. Like, this may not be natural for some people, but for me, this is like really like a soft B, but still look like, you know. Like you that girl without like trying to be that girl. Y'all get me? Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? And repeat. Make sure these lashes upside down, y'all. So it should be like this the way it is. And it should be literally upside down. Yeah, I literally probably can't even see this. But small, but definitely a statement. Super pretty. Alright, so we need to add blush. And I'm so excited because I'm going pink blush because it's Valentine's Day. And I'm going to use the Juvia's Place palette. I think I'm going to use, I kind of want to use this. I kind of want to use this. I think I want to mix them. Well, I want to dig into that. Or that one. And y'all know I like taking my blush like here. Yeah, I see. Like. It's so pretty. I don't think I'm going to dig into this color because it's already that sheen from that um, Juvia's Place. It's so funny how I didn't like that. That's something I didn't like about it. And it's like something that I began to like really appreciate. That sheen from that. Wow. It's pretty. Little on my nose. That is 
is so cute. Okay, um, I guess the next step is the lips. Um, I did want to share with y'all something. So, I had a couple comments and people said they couldn't find this anymore. And that is that, um, uh, vinyl. I don't remember. Something ink. Because it, it rubbed off. Um, this Maybelline, I don't remember, but this one, I love this because it's like, it's more gloss. Like I like it because it is a liquid lipstick, but it's like gloss. I wish I could mix these two together. So I found another one, super chocolate brown, but this is not for the timid baby. This is Dark Desire, Wet n Wild, Liquid Ketsu. Oh geez, I got every single color of this. Except for this, I, mean, I, I don't know if this is new, but this is a true dark brown. So y'all know I outline my lips with the uh, my regular 99 cent pencil. Let's go. Kiss the excess off. And I'm going to show y'all how dark this is. Like literally just take a little bit because it could get crazy. And outline your lips. I said this one won't go nowhere. No, for real, this one not going nowhere. Y'all seen I took the smallest amount. So that's cool. I'm good with that. I love that. Mm -hmm. I really want to do a red lip for y'all, but I'm like, this is pink. Like so pinky and pretty and nude that I want to keep it like that. So I'm going to do candy and my pout bomb. And she is pretty much gone. Keep it right in the center. And then I'm going to add a clear-ish lip gloss on top. It got a little color, so it's called like muted down a little bit. Cause I want to do a gloss with this, a glossy look. I feel like it's more wearable. Don't look as forced. Like that. And then if you want to be extra, you can just add this right around. Blend everything together. And just look where my lips are just a little crusty right there. And beauty molds or beauty marks. I'm going to add that really quickly. Back. Add that one, and y'all can still see that one. So that I want to spray my face. I finally got it. This is the one size on till dawn. I got the little one because this stuff is expensive. I think this was $32 for the big bottle and this was like 18 So, do I like it? Yes. Would I get the big bottle? Yes. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Me spreading this on my face is like a chemical. Like, it feel like it's gonna stay for real because I don't want to say it burn, but the way it smell, you gotta like use it to understand the way it smell and the way it like applies on your face. You could just tell it's gonna stay all day. If y'all get what I'm saying. But yeah. Woo. Yeah, that's cute. And that smells good. I want to add a little highlight to my nose. Because why not? I'm going to use these two. And it's just the Warrior 2. No, just the Warrior Juvia's palette. Just on a very tip, yeah, a little on the bridge. I feel like I am forgetting something. I'm not sure what it is, but this is the look, and I am more than happy with it. I'm not even gonna do my hair, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I need to wash 
my hair so bad. This is the finished look, my Valentine's Day look 2024. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And it was simple enough for y'all, but still, like I said, soft clown. Um, cat eye, smoky eye. But yeah, I feel really girly, dainty, and pretty. And um, I hope y'all try it. But thank you so much for watching my video. I love you guys so, so much per usual. I got to tell y'all and give y'all y'all flowers. I love y'all so much. See you next time. Oh, I forgot. I'm so close to 10K, y'all. Like, so very close. So, I am so excited. We got to do something. I don't know what we going to do, but we got to do something. Because I can't believe that we're here. Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited, y'all. I love y'all so much. And yeah, um, from the bottom of my heart, I love y'all.